friends, we have another anniversary of the Japanese tsunami of March 11th, 2011. And so here is another video on the subject that we are all fascinated by. Today, we are going to visit the town of Soma, which is about 25 miles north of the Fukushima nuclear power plant. If any Japanese city affected by the tsunami can be said to be an outstanding example of the devastating effect of a tsunami, it is this city. The footage that was filmed here at the time never ceases to fascinate us and today we are going to take a look at it and tell you some interesting information about it. So sit back and let's get to the new video on the Top Topics channel. The city of Soma lies on the very northern border of the Fukushima prefecture and its harbor forms the natural southern edge of the flat Sendai Bay. From an altitude of 65 miles, we can see that the city and its harbor are loosely exposed to the epicenter of the undersea earthquake from where the deadly wave came. From this high, we can also comfortably see the cities of Onagawa, Minami Sanriku, and Kesenuma, which were virtually destroyed by the wave. But here it was completely different from the wave that came to Soma. This is due to the different bathymetry of the bottom and also the different character of the coastline. In the north, the ocean rises abruptly just before the coastline, which is also very rocked and there are numerous bays. The result is the notorious flood wave, which has enormous destructive potential. However, everything is different about the town of Soma. The ocean rises gently, and for many kilometers offshore, the water is refreshingly shallow, while the coastline is flat and sandy. As a result, tsunamis in such conditions tend to form classic walls of water as we know them from popular movies. Let's take a closer look. All the action in this video takes a place in this small area around the harbor called Obama. The first camera is located roughly where these houses are. And that will be filming the area from the road bridge to the sand split in that direction. The second camera is located just a short distance from the road bridge. approximately somewhere on this rock, which is a fairly safe place to watch the tsunami. No. In the beginning, the situation does not look dangerous and the men with the camera are calm, even though they realize that the water rushing past the pier is a sign of an approaching tsunami. This effect is caused by the slow rise of the water surface as the wave whose crest is still in the open sea, pushes a huge mass of water in front of it. And therefore, the water begins to move towards the shore. It is being pushed out. Slow moving water can be seen around other breakwaters and dikes. When we look out to the open sea, we see that it is perfectly calm, and the rise in the surface is imperceptible to large ships. Here we can see that people are still evacuating the port buildings, so it is only a few minutes after the earthquake. Only a few people realize what kind of disaster is coming. Here we see two fishing boats moving quite correctly out of the harbor, but they will be at risk of serious damage even during a small wave. But as we can see, they have not yet sailed out to the sea, because the first regular wave is coming in and crashing over the pier. At this point, the ships can't leave the harbor because of the strong current. Yeah. 
The current is also clearly visible on camera 1 as the water breaks under the road bridge into this shallow bay called Matsukawa. The small strait under the road bridge is the only connection between the bay and the ocean, which is otherwise very well protected by this originally natural split, which has been reinforced and a road has been built over it to connect the harbour with areas further south. But let's go back to the harbour. Even though the water is starting to spill over the low concrete barrier, as the harbour bay is filled with the constantly flowing water, the men are still joking, thinking that the wave won't get much stronger. They are more amused by the situation than seriously worried. However, they soon realize that they were very wrong. As more and more water comes in, since the peak of the tsunami is already near the coast, the flow over the concrete wall picks up a speed and becomes more and more powerful. And the water quickly floods the harbour structures. Gradually, it dawns on the man that the situation is not okay and is instead very serious. <laughs> They will fully realize this when the second wave hits, and the warning sirens sound when the water floods all the buildings up to the first floor level. And it is obvious that the damage will be overwhelming. The second camera also recorded a significant increase in the currents into Matsukawa Bay. But it was at this point that the cameraman managed to catch a glimpse of a huge wall of water heading towards the spit at the end of the bay. The incoming crest of the main wave was also recorded by the second camera. At this point, the situation is critical because the ocean surface is up approximately 11 feet and surrounding all the buildings. And now the crest of the main wave is approaching and is at least another 20 feet in high before overtopping. It is therefore certain that the impact of the tsunami will be catastrophic. When the wave breaks on the shore and hits a scythe, an incredible spectacle occurs. A huge overfalling cylinder full of foamy water is created, which crashes against the concrete and rock cobbles on the spit, reaching up to 30 meters high in places. Now we can truly say that we are seeing the destructiveness of the tsunami in its essential form. The major pine trees on the north side of the spit are immediately uprooted and washed away. The second camera also shows the crest of the main wave coming in very clearly. When the wave breaks, it swallows one of the fishing boats, which disappears in the furious foam of this giant tsunami. The giant wave is also seen by the people in this building, who then try to take shelter somewhere. Many viewers thought for a long time that these people could not have survived. But the opposite is true. As we are about to show you, the wave then completes the work of destruction throughout the harbor. Yeah. 
えみんな大丈夫？In this video, which was taken from one of the tugboats, you can see the enormous force of the tsunami ripping a large tanker from a harbor crane and washing it away. In another video that was taken from this bridge over the harbor, you can see clearly how far the water reached. Here you can see the floated harbor structures where the camera number 2 was. And this is where you can see the survivors of this building calling for help from the roof. It sounds almost unbelievable, but they were incredibly lucky and probably smart because they were able to hide in a place where the wave didn't wash them away. There is another wave forming on the ocean behind, but it hasn't made much of an impact. A few months after the tsunami, the harbor looked like this. Here you can see the foundations of the buildings that were swept away. Here we can see the torso of a building whose roof survived and was subsequently demolished. In the end, all that was left standing was this massive concrete building. The 2022 footage shows that the harbor structures have now been fully restored. Looking at the scythe, it can be seen that the restoration work is still ongoing today and further reinforcing of the wall is taking place. Even though it was not very high, it protected this part of the city very well, because it was able to absorb a huge part of the tsunami energy. The destructive power of the wave is evidenced by this view, where even in 2023, the remnants of the pine trees can still be seen in the highest parts of this cliff over which the wave swept. The neighborhoods on the other side of the harbor were not so lucky, and for example, the 2011 images here show the remains of the foundations of the buildings that have been washed away. There has never been any rebuilding here, and there is only pleasant greenery and a protective wall on the right side to prevent the effects of the next tsunami.
Even though the tsunami's destructiveness here was not of the same magnitude as in the north, and the port infrastructure and adjacent buildings were mainly destroyed, the tsunami footage from this town, or rather video footage, is a perfect study that reveals a lot about this phenomenon. For this video, that is it. If you like this type of exploration of particular areas, be sure to give it a like, subscribe and hit that notification bell, and next time we can take a closer look at some other area. If you want to support our work, there is nothing easier than clicking the thank you heart below the video. Thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you at the next video.